Right, so, wash machine on the left hand side, this is Charlie and Charles carrier that we're just going to electrocute on the right hand side. Inside the wash machine you have something like a motor, and you have the live wire and neutral wire flowing into the wash machine, and the earth wire touching the casing of the wash machine. That's how electrical safety works, so the earth wire acts as a safety device. So what we're going to do first of all, is we're going to remove the earth wire and have a look at what happens. So, um, if I take this away, look at the board just now, I'll get to copy another diagram in a minute. So, we take the earth wire away. So let's get rid of the earth wire. Shh. Let's get rid of the earth wire. So the earth wire is not connected anymore, it's just sitting over here somewhere. Right, and there's a fault inside the washing machine. Faults generally mean that the earth, the live wire might end up touching the casing. Now, not every fault is the live wire touching the casing. But the fault that we are most interested in is the live wire end up breaking off and touching the casing of the appliance. So the ones that we have to guard against is the live wire here touching the casing of the appliance, touching this outside metal casing of the appliance. So this outside bit is all made of metal and the live wire is now touching the outside of the appliance. Now, to create, to flow electricity, electricity needs to get, find its way back down neutral wire, back down uh, to ground somewhere. Little Charlie, Charles carrier, is standing on the ground. So he is directly connected to ground because he's standing on it. If he comes along and touches the casing of this washing machine, then the electricity is going to go from the down the live wire, down here, into the casing of the appliance, round the casing of the appliance, down Charlie's arm, through his eyeballs, and then down his legs, and down to ground. Okay, that is what we call an electrical circuit. We're going to do a bit more about circuits later on, but that means current is flowing through him. Electricity is flowing through him. So he will, as we said, get an electric shock. That's him getting an electric shock. Because the current is flowing up the live wire, through the casing, it could go the other way as well, down to his hand, along his arm, down through his toes, and down to the ground. Of course, it has to go through his eyeballs, so that's why he's going to... Okay? So Charlie's got an electric shock. Now, what you want to do is stop the, out the casing of the appliance becoming live. So let's rewind time a little bit. Back in time, back in time, back in time. Right, Charlie's not touched the casing yet. So let's take the earth wire and put it back in. So here's the earth wire here. Let's rejoin it onto the casing of the appliance. Oops. Let's rejoin it onto the casing of the appliance. So let's take this and put it back on here. Right? Now, Charlie comes along and he touches the casing again. Now, this time, the current flows up the live wire into the, the casing. And now, it's got two choices. It can either come down through the earth wire or it can come round through Charlie's hand. It's, more, it's much easier for the electricity to go down a nice little wire than it is through your body. Okay, so it's going to want to go down the earth wire. It doesn't really want to go down through you. It's much harder for electricity to flow through you. You're not designed for electricity to flow through you. The earth wire is. Okay, so the, the electricity says, I can't even bother going through that big boy. I want to go down through a nice little wire. So it does, it goes down through the wire. It doesn't flow through the casing of the appliance. So that means Charlie is safe. He doesn't get electric shock. So connecting the earth wire to the casing or appliance stops the user from getting electric shock. If there's a fault, then, and the live wire touches the casing, then it goes through the earth wire and not through the user. Okay? Right. So how can we summarise all that up? So, if there is a fault in an electrical appliance, then the live wire may touch the metal casing. That's a pretty serious fault when the live wire touches the metal casing. If someone touches the casing, they will get an electric shock, generally. That's what happens. The casing is live, you touch that, you get an electric shock. But we put an earth wire in, they connect that to the, the casing of the appliance. If there's that fault, then instead of going through the person, the, the electricity goes down through the wire and you don't feel any difference. Okay? Now, last day we talked about the fuse. The fuse protects the flex of the appliance. Well, in this, in this example here, the earth wire protects the user. And that's very important. Fuses protect the flex, earth wires protect the user. Okay? So what is the single most effective safety device at stopping you from getting electric shock? It's the earth wire. It's not the fuse. But the fuse is there to stop fires and stop other things happening. 
So the earth wire protects pro that right? Pro, not po. <laughs> protects the user. Okay? okay. So that's important. Okay. 